Kate Middleton cut chic figure in a navy blue tweed skirt attending children's hospital outing. When most people hear the word tweed, chances are that the first words that come to mind are scratchy and grandma's closet. But then again, those people have clearly not seen Kate Middleton rock a $10,000 Chanel tweed suit or show off her toned arms in a sexy sleeveless T-length dress by her go-to designer, Alexander McQueen. After dressing up like a literal bride at the BAFTA Awards in London, Kate Middleton has stepped out today for the Royal Foundation's Mental Health in Education Conference. On arrival, footage shows the Royal get out of a car and smile warmly at the crowd gathered outside Mercer's Hall, central London. When she stepped out of the car, she laughed as she was hit by an unexpected gust of wind. Her skirt also billowed in the breeze, but she soon got everything under control. The Duchess of Cambridge looked positively radiant as she was pictured arriving at the hospital, sporting an enviable tweed jacket with delicate silver buttons and a matching mini skirt from Dolce & Gabbana. Kate paired her co-ord ensemble with black tights and a sleek pair of black pumps. She kept her makeup elegant and simple, wearing her signature brunette curls and a graceful half-up, half-down style. The royals have a trick for dealing with windy charity events or weddings, sometimes sewing weights into the hems of their skirts to avoid Marilyn Monroe moments. It looks like the Duchess's tweed skirt may not have been weighed down in this way, but she handled it like a pro. After exiting the car, she knelt to accept flowers from a young fan. Behind this iconic look, it was believed that Kate tends to favour less pattern, so this is a departure from her usual style, but we're very much enjoying the look. Suits are still a huge trend for next season, and the buccal texture is perfect for spring if you're bored of wearing plain colours. Kate's love of the fabric started as far back as 2012, when she wore a blue coat by Italian label M by Mizzoni for afternoon tea with the Queen and the Duchess of Cornwall at Fortnum and Mason. Kate also wore a grey tweed jersey dress in 2014 for a solo visit, in which her Chanel two-piece is literally the epitome of understated elegance, cementing her status as a style icon. Furthermore, for the opening of the V&A Photography Center in October 2018, she wore a belted tweed Erdem dress with a pair of Jimmy Choo shoes and clutch. The mother of three looked in great spirits as she met with representatives ahead of the conference, which brought together delegates from across the mental health and education sectors. As part of her royal engagement, Catherine attended a workshop run by the National Portrait Gallery's hospital program, honouring her role as a royal patron of the organisation and the Evelina Children's Hospital itself. A BBC reporter reportedly told attendees, As you will know, Kate has been a great driving force behind the Royal Foundation's work supporting children in their earliest years. And, Your Royal Highness, it's an honour to have you here with us today. The event was hosted by former Strictly Come Dancing contestants, Kate Silverton, and was a full-on day packed with segments from inspirational speakers. There were panel discussions as well as breakout sessions. Prince William's wife heard about the benefits of integrating mental health modules into teacher training courses, and also the roles school teachers have in creating a culture of well-being in schools. Kate spent some time along children at the hospital who dabbled in photography, 3D set design and illustration. As a photography buff herself, Kate was in her element, as it's one of her specialities, having studied art history at the University of St Andrews before meeting Prince William, 